How would you handle an employee who is not meeting company expectations? Hello and welcome to our channel. We thank for your continuous support and subscribing to our channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly feel free to do so and turning the bell notification to be alerted on future videos. Today we have a full tutorial interview. Let's get straight to it. Thank you Robinson for honoring our invitation to come for the interview. I am Irene. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, how are you doing today? I am doing well, and yourself? Great, thanks. I hope we didn't keep you waiting for long? No, I have just arrived a few minutes. That's good. Robinson, shall we start? Have a seat. Yeah, sure. Thank you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am the head of People with Z's organization. As you are aware we are having an open position in the department, so we have been interviewing applicants to fill the position as quickly as possible. To start our discussion, tell me about yourself and what motivated you to apply for this job. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this position and organization. My name is Robinson Bosire. I have X number of years of practice working with various international organization. I am a highly organized, dedicated and professional individual who is extremely passionate about working in human resource and the responsibility that comes with the role. Over the years, I have been working towards the human resource position, and as such, I have carried out lots of studying and professional development work to enable me to be in the position where I believe I can perform the role to the high standards required. I want to become a HR officer because I thrive in a pressurized environment where attention to detail is paramount. I also want to work in a role where I have lots of responsibility and where I can make a significant impact to people's working lives and deliver on the set goals of my employer. If you hire me as your HR officer, I believe you will be impressed with my work ethic and my ability to deliver consistent results whilst working under pressure. Thank you Robinson for that introduction and your motivation to apply for this job. What are some of the most important qualities that an effective human resources officer should possess? An effective human resources officer should possess a variety of qualities. First and foremost, they must have excellent interpersonal skills to effectively communicate with all levels of staff. They also need to be organized and detail-oriented in order to manage personnel records and ensure compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Furthermore, they should have strong problem-solving and conflict resolution skills to handle employee disputes or grievances. Finally, it is important that the HR officer has an understanding of current employment trends and practices so they can provide sound advice on recruitment, staffing, compensation, and benefits. I believe I am well suited for this role as I have extensive experience in human resources management. I have managed large teams of employees and understand how to foster a positive work environment. My organizational skills are top-notch enabling me to keep accurate records and stay up to date on relevant laws and regulations. I am also adept at resolving conflicts between employees and providing guidance on best practices. Finally, my knowledge of industry trends and practices ensures that I can make informed decisions when it comes to hiring, training, and compensating staff. How would you handle an employee who is not meeting company expectations? If an employee is not meeting company expectations, I would first take the time to understand why. It could be a lack of training or resources that are preventing them from succeeding. Once I have identified the root cause, I can then work with the employee to develop a plan for improvement. This may include additional training, mentoring, or providing more feedback and support. I believe in taking a collaborative approach when it comes to performance management, so I would also involve other stakeholders such as their manager or supervisor to ensure everyone is on the same page. Finally, I would track progress and provide regular updates to both the employee and the team to ensure we are all working together to reach our goals. What is your experience with administering employee benefits programs? I have extensive experience administering employee benefits programs. In my current role as a human resources officer, I am responsible for managing and overseeing the entire benefits program, including health insurance, retirement plans, vacation time, and other perks. I ensure that all employees are aware of their benefits and understand how to use them. I also work with external vendors to negotiate better rates and terms on behalf of our organization. 
My goal is always to maximize the value of the benefits package while keeping costs low. In addition, I regularly review our policies and procedures to make sure they comply with state and federal regulations. I also stay up to date on any changes in the law so that we can adjust our policies accordingly. Finally, I provide support to managers and employees who need assistance understanding or utilizing their benefits. Provide an example of a time when you had to manage an employee grievance. I recently had to manage an employee grievance at my current job. The employee was unhappy with the way their supervisor had treated them and felt that they were being unfairly targeted. I took the time to listen to the employee's concerns and then worked with both parties to come up with a solution. I first met with the employee to discuss their grievances in detail and gain a better understanding of the situation. After listening to their concerns, I then met with the supervisor to get their side of the story. We discussed possible solutions to the problem and eventually agreed on a plan of action. Once the plan was in place, I followed up with both parties to ensure that it was being implemented correctly. I also provided guidance and support throughout the process to ensure that all parties involved felt heard and respected. In the end, the issue was resolved successfully and the employee was satisfied with the outcome. If hired, what would be your approach to building and maintaining strong relationships with employees? If hired, my approach to building and maintaining strong relationships with employees would be centered around open communication. I believe that effective communication is key in creating a positive work environment where employees feel heard and valued. To ensure this, I would encourage regular check-ins with each employee to discuss their progress, successes, and any areas of improvement. I would also focus on creating an atmosphere of trust by being available for questions and feedback from employees. This could include providing resources or guidance when needed, as well as actively listening to their concerns and taking action when appropriate. Finally, I would strive to create a culture of appreciation by recognizing the hard work and dedication of all employees. By doing so, I believe it will foster a sense of loyalty and commitment among the team. What would you do if you noticed a significant drop in employee morale? If I noticed a significant drop in employee morale, my first step would be to identify the root cause. This could include factors such as changes in management or company policies, or even external pressures like economic downturns. Once I have identified the source of the problem, I can begin to develop strategies to address it. I believe that communication is key when addressing issues with employee morale. I would work closely with managers and employees to ensure that everyone has an opportunity to voice their concerns and provide feedback on potential solutions. I would also look into implementing programs to improve workplace culture, such as team building activities, recognition initiatives, and flexible scheduling options. Finally, I would monitor progress over time to ensure that any improvements are sustained. How well do you handle stress? I believe I handle stress very well. In my current role as a human resources officer, I am often faced with difficult situations and tight deadlines. To manage this, I have developed effective strategies for staying organized and prioritizing tasks. I also make sure to take regular breaks throughout the day to keep myself focused and energized. I find that taking time away from work helps me stay calm and collected when dealing with stressful situations. In addition, I'm an excellent communicator which is essential in managing stress. I always strive to be open and honest with colleagues and clients so that everyone involved understands what needs to be done and how we can best achieve our goals. This allows us to collaborate effectively and efficiently, reducing any potential sources of stress. Describe your experience with using employment applications and databases. I have extensive experience using employment applications and databases. I have been working in human resources for the past five years, and during that time I have developed a deep understanding of how to effectively use these tools. In my current role as an HR officer, I am responsible for managing all aspects of the recruitment process, including reviewing job applications and entering them into our database. I also use the database to track applicant progress throughout the hiring process. This includes keeping records of interviews, background checks, and other important information. Furthermore, I am well versed in creating custom reports from the data stored in our system. These reports are used to analyze trends in hiring, employee retention, and overall performance. My ability to quickly generate accurate and insightful reports has proven invaluable to my employer. What makes you stand out from other candidates who may be applying for this position? 
I believe my experience and qualifications make me stand out from other candidates who may be applying for this position. I have over seven years of professional human resources experience, including three years in a supervisory role. During that time, I have gained extensive knowledge in all aspects of HR operations, such as recruitment, employee relations, performance management, compensation and benefits, training and development, and compliance. In addition to my professional experience, I also hold a bachelor's degree in human resources management and am certified institute human resource management. This certification demonstrates my commitment to staying up to date on best practices and industry trends in order to provide the most effective HR solutions. What do you think is the most important aspect of human resources? In my opinion, the most important aspect of human resources is creating a positive work environment. This means ensuring that employees feel valued and respected, have access to necessary resources, and are provided with opportunities for growth and development. A positive work environment can increase employee engagement, morale, and productivity, which in turn leads to better business outcomes. I believe I am well suited for this role because I have extensive experience in developing strategies to create a positive work environment. I have implemented initiatives such as team building activities, recognition programs, and professional development workshops. These initiatives have been successful in fostering a culture of collaboration, respect, and appreciation among staff members. Furthermore, I have also developed policies and procedures to ensure compliance with relevant laws and regulations. What have been some of your most successful projects in the past? I have been fortunate to work on a variety of successful projects throughout my career in human resources. One of the most successful was when I led a team to develop and implement a new onboarding process for our organization. We worked together to create an efficient system that would allow us to quickly and effectively onboard new employees, while also ensuring they had all the necessary information and resources needed to be successful. Another project I am proud of is when I developed a comprehensive employee engagement program. This included creating surveys to measure employee satisfaction, developing workshops to help improve morale, and introducing incentives to reward outstanding performance. The results were impressive, we saw a significant increase in employee engagement and productivity. We are almost finishing. Have you ever had to handle a difficult termination situation? If so, how did you resolve it? Yes, I have had to handle a difficult termination situation. In this particular case, the employee was not meeting performance expectations and had been given multiple warnings about their behavior. After consulting with my supervisor, we decided it would be best to terminate the employee's employment. I approached the situation with empathy and respect for the employee, while still being firm in my decision. I took the time to explain why they were being terminated and what steps they could take to improve their future job prospects. I also offered them resources such as outplacement services and career counseling. Finally, I provided them with a severance package that included a few weeks of pay and health insurance coverage. How do you stay abreast of changes in employment law and regulations? Staying abreast of changes in employment law and regulations is an important part of my job as a human resources officer. I make sure to stay up to date on any new laws or regulations that may affect the workplace by regularly reading relevant publications, attending seminars and workshops, and networking with other HR professionals. I also take advantage of online resources such as webinars and blogs to keep myself informed. Finally, I am always open to learning from colleagues who have more experience in this field than me. By doing all these things, I can ensure that I am aware of any changes that could impact our organization's policies and procedures. Finally, describe a time when you had to make an unpopular decision as a human resources officer. As a human resources officer, I have had to make difficult decisions that are not always popular. One such instance was when I had to terminate an employee for misconduct. This decision was particularly difficult because the employee had been with the company for many years and had built strong relationships with their colleagues. I conducted a thorough investigation into the matter and consulted with other members of the HR team before making my final decision. After careful consideration, I concluded that the employee's actions were in violation of our company policies and therefore termination was necessary. Although this decision was unpopular, it was important to ensure that our workplace remained safe and respectful for all employees. After the decision was made, I worked closely with the terminated employee to ensure they received the support they needed during this transition. 
I also communicated the reasons behind the decision to their colleagues, so that everyone understood why the decision was made. Ultimately, I believe that by taking these steps I was able to maintain trust between management and the staff, while upholding our company values. Do you have any question? No do not have. The job description in a website is clear what I will be doing and what to do as an organization. Mine is just to appreciate for the consideration. I look forward to joining you soon. Thank you again for coming. In the next one week we will get back to you on how you perform in the interview. See you bye. Bye.